head away from the water and further inland into Baikal's vast territory. Ecotourism is becoming popular here, and I was off to check out a real success story. Baikal is surrounded by huge swathes of Siberia's taiga forest, and coming in here isn't exactly your average trip into the woods. It's incredibly easy to get lost here, which is why groups of volunteers have created something called the Great Baikal Trail, which has cleared enough foliage that now tourists and trekkers alike can come in and really enjoy the experience. Just make sure you take plenty of mosquito repellent. If you like your holiday as active and outdoors, this is the place to be. Over the past six years, volunteers have carved out dozens of kilometers of trails around Baikal and put up more than a few helpful constructions. So this is the sort of thing that the Baikal volunteers are coming here to build. Structures like this bridge save trekkers huge amounts of time having to make detours around the river. And they've done a pretty good job. Check this out. Ah, oh, solid as a rock. I was off to a summer camp deep in the woods to meet a bunch of intrepid, muddy eco-warriors and their group leader, Yulia. And what are you doing here? We're making a trail and it goes for about 250 meters. And we've made 12 steps here. The guys had been hard at work for almost two weeks and it was pretty obvious that I was going to have to get my hands dirty. Right, to make myself useful, heavy manual labor. Just what I love. One more. Ah. Yeah, I don't think it's going much further than that, is it? No. Right. Oh, great. All those many hours in the gym that I haven't done. After that, it has to be trodden down. A good chance to bond with my fellow workers. <laughs> this is the easier part of the job, I think, yeah. Everyone has a different role, and once the trail's been cleared, steps are put in to hold the soil in place. It's a project that's really captured the imagination, and people come to help here from all over Europe. I think it's very important because um, I like to go hiking and trekking a lot, and always when I'm working on trails, I'm thinking like, hmm, what hard work, and it's so good that there are people who do it, and now... I was a part of it. <laughs> There's a real sense of camaraderie among the group. Yuli is in charge here for the very first time. And there have been a few things preying on her mind. Oh, it's a very big responsibility because uh, there are about 14 volunteers in yeah. my camp. And uh, it's taiga. There are wild animals here. <laughs> <laughs> so you have yeah, to make sure it. no one gets eaten. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is very important. Fortunately, everyone survived, and Yulia hopes what they've built will continue to bring new visitors to the area. It's very important because it's a reserve, mm -hmm. the territory of reserve, and it's a very good, very diverse nature here. Mm -hmm. There are lots of uh, groups here, like um, scholars. Mm -hmm. It must be controlled, mm -hmm. and that's what we are doing. We control the tourism. <laughs> 